What is going on, my fellow reefers, reefing familia? March here. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Fragbox TV. Today, I want to talk to you about a very, very cool torch coral, Euphelia glabarensis. Well, that is the Latin name. What do you think, Diggs? We're going to talk to them about Dragon Soul Torch. Okay, I got it here in this tank, and um, I just thought of this before doing the video. I'm going to make it super blue with the help of my trusty AI Hydra app here. So I'm going to crank the blues, as you can see here. I'm going to turn down all the other colors so you can really, really see the pot. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll even turn off the lights in the store. It'll really help show it off. Let's see. Grab this one. Okay. Maybe this one over here. Yeah, maybe one more. It'll look kind of cool. Turn off all the lights in here. We actually just got in some very cool torches today from Indonesia. Very nice torches. These were um, in transit. Oh, man, this is going to be crazy. Oh, I hope this head over here survives. If you need help, keeping torch coral. I'm gonna link in the description a video that we did um, quite a while back about keeping torch. And uh, hopefully I can help someone out there if you just want more information on this coral in general. Very nice different varieties of torch. Uh, hammers, uh, this one's pretty cool too. This one is stunning though, this is really nice. But I can see here on the side, well, you know what? Let's give it another day. It just came, it's been in transit for three days. It came from Indonesia, but over here, that is not a very good sign. So. With that being said, my little sidetrack of the day, if you're looking to buy torch coral, don't ever buy torch if you see exposed skeleton like that. Definitely not a good sign. So these ones just came in, like I said. Let me show you some torch coral we've had in the store for a little bit longer. Uh, here's a good example, right over here. Look at this nice big colony. Wow, beauty, she looks great. I don't know if it's a she or he, whatever you are. You're a nice coral. It's happy, it's healthy, how can I tell? I don't see any skeleton. The polyps are extended, it's waving nicely. This is what you want to see from just about all LPS. So LPS corals uh, or euphelia corals, that's the, um, the hammer, the torch, and I don't know if I have a, I should have a frog spawn somewhere to show you. Uh, frog spawn, that's also in the euphelia family right over there, that nice yellow one. But as you can see, these ones we've had a lot longer and they just look happier. Is that the word I want to use? Yeah, I'm going to use that word. They look happier. They look plump. So that's always a good sign. That's what you want to look for if you're looking to purchase one. Don't ever buy if you see skeleton exposed. Oh, another one here. Another good example. Sorry, not my finger of what not to buy. And don't buy if you see mucus coming out of the mouth. It could signal that there's something wrong with it. Um, anything that looks brown or slimy is also not a good sign. Now, if it's an older piece and it's got a bunch of heads on it, and there's one clearly dead head, that sometimes does happen. That, you know, if it's 100% one just dead head on the side, I don't really have one to show you what I'm talking about. Those are still safe to buy. But in general, look for very fluffy, fluffy pieces. I'm gonna turn off just this one other light here. We're gonna do a, a little bit different video today. We're gonna do it in the dark. Yeah, this will be cool. It'll really, I think, really make the, um, this torch coral stand out really pop. So I wanna to talk to you about the Dragon Soul, because I think, I think it's my favorite torch out of all of them. I wonder if the camera is actually going to pick it up, this blue. Hmm, this might be interesting. I have to check out after on the computer. Okay, never mind. Had to turn off the blue. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Sorry for wasting time there. I'll just show it to you under natural lighting conditions, or, or what we call natural here, how the tank is normally running. I can also link in the description um, how we're running our Hydra 32 HDs over this 90 gallon mix reef tank. Here are the torches though. One of my favorite corals of all time. Absolutely love torches, but the one that really stands out from the bunch. So we have these nice um, usually with torches, up until recently actually, torches were usually just described by their color. So this would be like a white tip purple torch. This is like an orange tip, I don't know, maybe brown purple torch. Um, usually we would use like the tip and then the tentacle in the description of the torch coral. An orange tip, green one. But when we get to this one, what? This is a dragon soul. This is unlike any other one. It's got three, four colors going on. It's a really, really spectacular piece. It's not cheap. Torch corals in general have, uh, the prices have gone up um, a lot recently. So when I first started selling corals over 10 years ago, I would buy not necessarily dragon soul torches like this one, but I'd buy torch corals for about $10 Canadian uh, wholesale and I was happy to sell them for $20 all day long. And I was, I would, that, that was just a normal 
thing. That was over 10 years ago. That is so, so far gone. That does, Those margins don't happen anymore. There's no torch corals to be had at $10 a head. Um, the entire industry has completely changed, especially when it comes to torch. These corals have just exploded in price, popularity uh, in the last couple of years. And um, it's understandable. They're beautiful corals. They, just about every mixed reef tank has, I put them in all of, all of the tanks that I set up, but this one really stands out. So I thought it would be cool to do a spotlight on this specific type of torch. I have the flow off just for the purpose of showing it to you in the tank. If you follow the channel, you know that this tank went through pretty rough time. Uh, in the last month, we actually crashed it and lost just about everything. So slowly started to rebuild. And the torches like to do, I mean, the, the, rather the torches do well in this spot of the tank right here. And I really like when people kind of walk in the store. It's one of the first things I think that your eyes sort of drawn to. Um, the store is quite busy. There's a lot going on. And I know it's kind of weird right now. I'm walking backwards and the lights are off. But I just want to show you kind of what it looks like from the front door. As you come in, you're greeted by... Um, our friendly staff, of course, and Tia and Matt and Dylan always smiling and asking how you are. But I think that display tank really draws people in and it wasn't really placed there by a mistake. We want you to come in. We want you to come check it out. These other two nice nanos over here on the side. But um, Torch is uh, an awesome coral. Like I said, I'm going to link in the description how to keep them. And I think that's about it. I just really, I'm feeling the dragon soul today. I thought it'd be cool to share it with you. I think I'm gonna take this torch off of this rock because it's enough on this side here. And I think there's enough colors. And what are you doing, hosting? Mr. Pajama Cardinal, huh? I would not think that a PJ would hang out so close to them, but whatever, this fish is surprising us. But I think that's it for the torches. I'll kind of, mm, maybe an Indo Gold. I, I don't want to put too many more. They're very aggressive. That's the one downside with torches. They're beautiful and they sway and they look great, but they will kill any other coral they touch with the exception of uh, hammer corals and frog spawn, which people say online that you cannot have them touching. I'm going to tell you with 100% certainty from um, the experience that I have, torch, hammer, frog spawn, they can absolutely, absolutely touch. They're not going to kill each other. The proof is in the pudding. Here it is, touching side by side. Now, that being said, you don't want the skeletons to touch. I wouldn't glue these together, you know, in an aquarium super close to one another like that. If the tentacles slide past one another, nothing's gonna happen. They're not gonna kill each other. It's when the skeleton, the actual skeleton base underneath the, uh, the body there, if those touch, then that can lead to some coral warfare. Then they can sting each other. I'm getting really sidetracked. I want to talk to you, uh, talk to you about Dragon Soul, and we're talking about coral warfare. But that's how most of these videos go. If you are a subscriber to the channel, you know that I get off topic, and uh, that's just how we do. If you like this video, if you like any of the videos, if you like corals, I suggest that you subscribe because we do a video here every single day of the week. So with that being said, we will see you guys back here tomorrow for another reef related topic thank you for tuning in to this episode of fragbox tv